Some fails are just so laughably bad you can't even yell about them. Hello everyone, I am Mecca, Mecca Random 42, the one, the only, the original, your favorite YouTube consumer advocate, Harpy. I did yell a little bit about this over on the Saturday edition, the new chat show that Rob and I are doing. It's over on his channel this week. Check that out. We're talking. It didn't pop in. It didn't pop in. We're talking today. This is a doozy. You know, if these people want to prove how little they know about characters and character development and they want to prove how they can't even bother to Google search a character, I don't think they even care. I really don't think that's the point anymore. Why stop them at this point? <laughs> oh, I guess they want to put Velma in brown face now. That's the new thing. Because that's all they're really doing every time we get one of these swaps. I've been calling it cinematic blackface. Or the equivalent of characters that are already so used up, you're basically giving the leftovers, the scraps. They do that with Superman. They do that with all these characters. I, I guess Velma is another one. Another character that they have tried so many times to keep bringing back over and over and over again. And it's really one of those things that's just best left in the past. We're done with it. We're done. I haven't thought or, or cared about Scooby-Doo in a very, very, very long time. I did a video probably last time when they wanted to swap her out to be a lesbian. Oh, no, they did in one of the new cartoons. Oh, who cares anymore? Who cares anymore? All they're doing is just proving that they can't do anything new. They can't sell an original new concept, especially Mindy Kaling here. Now, if she were actually that great, wouldn't her show still be on the air? The Mindy Show. So we've already tried and seen what she has to offer. Not that great. Now you're going to go and what? Prove that you can't Google Velma's ancestry. I did. There's a lot of information already out there, but we'll continue. We'll, we'll look. We'll look. We got to actually read the article. It gets worse. It gets worse. This is such an epic fail. Oh, we'll get into it. So this is a Bounding in a Comics article. Bindi Kaling to lead an adult-oriented Scooby-Doo animated cartoon comedy to focus on a race swap Velma, and it won't feature Scooby-Doo. We? <laughs> So first off, no Scooby-Doo. Why even bother calling it Velma at this point? Warner Media has revealed a number of new details regarding actress Mindy Kaling's upcoming adult-oriented Scooby-Doo animated comedy. Include, but it's not a Scooby-Doo because it doesn't have Scooby doing it, does it? Including its focus on a race-swapped East Asian version of Velma Dinkley. Then it's not Velma. <laughs> That is not Velma because her name wouldn't be Dinkley. It would be, you know, what's the, what's the most stereotypical one that they use? Patel. They always use the name Patel in, in the industry. Oh, it gets better. No mystery machine and no Scooby-Doo. <laughs> information first came to public attention Greetings, and thank you so much for subscribing if you do like my content please 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 subscribe or make sure you're still subscribed it is dropping subs every time i upload the new pieces of information first came public oh and you'll, you'll love this you'll love this so they list what his job is tom ashheim he's in charge of kids young adults and classic stuff right classic that means it's established we already have lineage and heritage we already have all these things Presentation for the TV Kids Summer Festival. This is an adult-oriented series. Why are you even talking about that? Oh, because because classics. It has nothing to do. Basically, you're telling everybody who shows up to this thing, don't watch this. This has nothing to do with Scooby-Doo. And it's not even for the demographic of the people we're presenting it to. <laughs> I mean... I wasn't going to do a video on this until I saw a fail after fail after fail after fail after fail. This is idiocracy right in front of us. Oh, and it's even better than that. They're admitting that they're only utilizing her talent because of the fact that they're changing it to make an East Indian descent character. Just make a new character. If you're changing her her lineage, Dinkley, Dinkley. Well, let's just take a little spin -a on the internet here, shall we? The Dinkley family name. First up, I did Google that one. Velma from Scooby-Doo was born in Germany, as revealed in the Scooby-Doo Frank and Creepy one that I did not see. So there's just wiki and wiki and wiki. 
Velma's family. She has family. She has an aunt and uncle. She has family members. Even the Dinkley family name. Historically, the surname name evolved as a way to sort people into groups by occupation, place of origin, clan affiliation, patronage, parentage, adoption, even physical characteristics like red hair. Many of the modern surnames in the dictionary can be traced back to Britain and Ireland. If you want more history on Velma Dinkley specifically, they have a whole wiki. Like I said, this is just idiocracy. Once you're changing out everything about the character, it's no longer the character. You don't have any recognizable anything. You just have a random Indian chick who wants to what? Solve mysteries at some point in her life. Make that show. Don't take a character with an established history, established backstory, just to prove you guys don't know what the crap you're doing and can't actually sell anything original without it being about the color. That's what they're reducing it to here. That's what, that's what they're reducing it to. That's the only reason. And they say it right here. We have a not for children, Mindy Kaling project called Velma because she was excited to reimagine what Scooby-Doo would be like if Velma were of East Indian descent and lived in a different world. Well, then she wouldn't be Velma because different people of different backgrounds have different stories. That's the whole point. We are not the Borg. We are not all the same. We already have Velma. What is your story? What is your story? What is your character? Make it a new character if it's going to be that different. It's just so stupid. And, and that's why I call this cinematic blackface and, and basically like they're giving chitlins as leftovers because I have not personally given one flying fuck about Velma Dinkley probably since 2000 when I was watching Scooby-Doo reruns on Cartoon Network before they moved them over to Boomerang and I didn't care then. This is a show from 1969 for crying out loud. It is done. It is used up. All of Scooby-Doo is just nostalgia at this point. You're not hooking a new generation. You're not proving anything. And if it's that big of a deal to have an Asian character to identify with, make a new fucking character. I'm tired of fucking Velma. Aren't you? That's the whole problem here. I'm tired of Velma. I'm tired of seeing a new version every five goddamn years. I'm tired of Superman. I'm tired of Batman. If you're gonna just keep giving me the same damn thing over and over again, at least here they're making it so damn different it's not even Velma anymore. I have read about this all I can. I'm not even angry about the Velma thing. I'm angry that we've de-evolved as a society so much to the point where they're just giving us a new character that's Velma in name only. I'm Mecca Red of 42 and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.